So we're at this, I'm getting tired of telling the story. We're at a dinner, it's a fancy place, like a business thing, and uh, this guy starts ordering food for the table. I call it communal food. I guess with appetizers it's okay, but entrees, he's ordering entrees for the table, like, oh, plates of steak or a dish with, you know, you got a bunch of adults sitting around and uh, sharing meals, like, uh, you know, I don't, I don't do that, right? I want to have my own food. It's one thing. Uh, you know, when it's like bread or something, but these guys are scooping this cheesy kind of spicy corn stuff off of a plate with a pork chop and sharing it. I don't do, I don't do any of that. Steve Weiner here with GetRubix.com, and today we're going to take a look at uninstalling the classic Teams client, now that we've talked about pushing the new one and removing the personal one. So getting the classic Teams client off, and we're going to look at two ways to do this. Yeah, I don't do communal food. I had the waiter come over. I said, give me a give me a dinner, like an adult, just my own thing. It was plate, had steak. It was all right. Get Rubik's, solving for the modern workplace. Okay, so we're going to get started by making a new desktop folder. We're going to call this Classic Teams Remove because I'm not good at naming things. Okay. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is I want to make a folder inside of the folder. I want to call this um, remediation. So that's the first way we're going to look at getting rid of the old teams. Um, just using a remediation script, right? We have Intune look to see which machines have it. If it has it, remove it, and then Call it from there. So, like always with a remediation script, we have a detect script and a remediate script. All right, so the first thing clearly we have to do is figure out where Teams is. So, I have a machine here that does have classic Teams installed. If I look up Teams, you see I have this work or school one. That's the classic one. In the registry, if we go to the uninstall path under the WoW 6432 node, in software Microsoft Windows, current version, uninstall. Um, it's found, uh, okay, so it's right here under this easy to remember GUID, not really, but you see it says display name Teams wide installer. So to locate if Teams is on a machine, we have to grab that registry path. And HKLM software, Wow, 6432 node, Microsoft, Windows, current version, uninstall, and we're going to put an asterisk for all the properties. So let me just make a quick, uh, make a quick comment so we can follow along what we're doing. So registry path for teams, machine wide installer. That was the name of the classic install client. Okay. So what we're going to do now is check if the uninstall string is in the registry. And we're going to call it classic teams. And I'm going to say get item property. The path is the registry path. And we're going to say where objects display name is equal to. And that's going to be what we found here. Teams machine wide installer see that right there okay so we're gonna say teams machine wide installer perfect now that we know where it would be we just have to check if it exists so if classic teams exists if it exists we'll trigger the remediation and if it doesn't exist, we will do nothing. Just like any other remediation script. So write output, classic teams found, attempting to uninstall. And we'll put an exit one. That's how it knows to trigger the remediation. And if not, we'll put classic teams not found. And we'll just exit zero. Nice and easy. The original Teams was a little bit messy to deploy. 
So depending on how it was installed, the actual install files may be in one of two locations. It could also be trickier if you have multiple users on the same device and some had teams and some different and some had teams installed in different places. So instead of our usual looking for the current user SID and, and getting that user and removing teams, um, what we're going to do is we're going to actually go through all the users on the device and look for both locations per user directory. So it'll take a little more time, but uh, we really want to make sure Classic Teams is cleaned up. All right, so the first thing we're going to do, regardless of where we find Teams, is uninstall Teams Classic function. We need to get rid of Teams. Um, and the way to get rid of Teams is wherever you find it. So in this case here, one of the paths it could be is in the local app data. Uh, Microsoft teams and there it is update.exe that's how you know it's there and that's actually we're going to use this executable to uninstall so we're going to say function uh classic teams remove i like the the parameter it's going to take is the path the so teams path and we're going to say start process file path we'll take the teams path we just passed there is a parameter and we'll say update.exe which was the executable i just showed you that'll have an argument list that'll be uninstall slash s for silent we'll do a pass through wait and an error action uh, we'll say stop great so wherever, wherever we find it we'll pass that path through so we call that exe so great that's done. So to get all users, we're going to say get child item path C users. Pretty straightforward, right? Really can't miss there. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to loop through users for each user in all users. So the first thing we have to do is we have to establish where the team's location is, so team's locations. The first one is the one we just looked at, the local app data. So we'll say, see users, this particular user, its name, app data, local, Microsoft, teams. Now the second place it could be is in program data. So we found ours in local app data, but depending on how it's installed, if we go to program data and we were to see a, uh, you go to your user name here. Oh, let's go in there. If there was a Teams thing in there, that would be uh, indicative that that's where Teams is installed. So we're going to look there. So program data equals C program data user.name same structure underneath microsoft teams so what we're going to do is we're going to say check each user for both locations and remove if found so this is going to be an if else if oh, and then an else Okay, so the first thing is if test path local app data. So if we find it in the first one, we're going to say right output uninstall teams uninstalling teams classic for and then we'll put user user dot name. So we'll say we found it for that user. And we're just gonna run our function. So we're gonna say classic teams remove, give it that path. Cool. Else if test path is the program data, then we'll say write output uninstalling teams classic for user dot name. I sound like a robot there for a second. So it's the same. That's why we made it a function, because we're just going to pass just a different path to it, but it's still going to look for that update.exe 
Uh, and it, there's nothing there at all we can say classic teams not found. Okay. And last thing we can do is uh, we can remove, um, if it's there, all the old folders and icons, clean things up. So we can go old folder, old icon. So the old folder is in C, users, all users. So we'll use that asterisk again. App data, local, Microsoft, Teams. And the old icon would be in C, users, app data, roaming. That would be Microsoft, Windows, Start menu, programs, Microsoft, Teams, star.lnk. And that would be the desktop shortcut. So we'll say get item old folder remove item force recurse get item old icon remove item force recurse and we'll just say clean up clean up folder and icon all right so that's our remediation and our detection so to get those going we'll go to teams Devices, not Teams, Intune. Wow. <laughs> we'll go to Intune. Don't go to Teams. Go to Intune, Remediations. We're going to create classic Teams Remove. Give it a description if you want. I don't feel like it. And we're going to go to Desktop, our Remediation folder, throw up the detection. Same location for the Remediate. Turn on 64 bit PowerShell. And I'm going to assign this to all my devices. For the second way, we're gonna actually use an app package and a custom requirements for this. A lot of folks reached out recently saying that uh, because of certain licensing, they may not have access to remediation. So I'm gonna show you an alternative way to basically take the same thing and uh, just push it through as a Win32 app. Okay, so within this same folder, I'm gonna make a new folder and call it the app version. And in app version, I'm gonna put a requirement.ps1 and I'm gonna put an install.ps1. So for my requirement, I really just need the custom app requirement. I really just need the same thing as detection because I just need to know if I'm running the app or not. Um, but instead of, I don't really need the exit ones and the exit zeros here. What I can do is I just need the output and it's got, it should be simple. So I'm gonna say, Teams not installed. And then in this one, I'm going to say Teams installed. And you'll see why it's better for it to be a little shorter in a moment. So I'm going to leave that alone. Now for install, I could basically leave the same thing I have in Remediate. Okay? As my install script. The only difference is I just need some kind of detection rule. So I can say new item path, C program data, Microsoft, um, and we could put this in the uh, Intune management extension area. Uh, we'll say Intune management extension logs, and I'll say the type, it's a file, and the name is going to be classic teams remove.txt. And that's how I'll know it installed. So all I have to do now is come in here to that folder. I'll put it in app version. Yep. And we're going to package this up with our utility. Uh, oh, wrong thing there. Now we have an Intune win. So let's talk about, it's basically the same thing, but let's talk about how we can upload it. So we're gonna go to Apps, Windows, Add, and we're gonna do Windows App Win32, and we're gonna select that package file we just created. So it'll be in the App Version folder and install into Win. We'll call it Classic Teams Remove. Publisher, put whatever you want there. 
our install command is going to be execution policy bypass install.ps1 no uninstall command because we're not doing that uh architecture whatever os here we go requirement so we want to use our script for custom requirement so we're going to call this classic teams check and what we're going to do is we're actually going to push that requirement and remember where we want it to run if teams installed comes out so we're going to take the output data type and say string equals teams installed that's what we want if that gets spit out we run the app if not it's not applicable uh, and then we're gonna for our detection we're just gonna add that text file we made so we're gonna say this is C program data Microsoft Intune management extension logs and it's called classic teams removed.txt and we're seeing if it exists. And I believe that's what I put. Let me just go back. Uh, yeah, classic teams removed text. Great. And same thing. I'm going to push that out to my devices. All right, I'm going to make those available in GitHub uh, by the time you see this. And uh, hopefully that gave you some options, right? We're essentially doing the same thing. This is kind of a cool way to check if Teams is there if you can't use the remediation. So that should wrap up all our talks about Teams, right? We've got the new Teams client got, uh, got deployed. We removed the personal one, removed the classic one. Uh, hop in the Discord. Let me know if these are working for you. Let me know what you'd like to see next. And we'll be seeing you.